In this step-by-step -step Ableton Live music production tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make tech house like Cream like this. <laughs> Hi, my name is Vlad, I am a DJ and one man band music producer, so if you want to learn how to make tech house like the pros, make sure to watch this video till the end. So as usual, the first thing is the kick and bass, I'm going to show you how to make tech house bass in Ableton, and in this case, uh, I have the main bass, which sounds like that, so let me show you the melody. And the patch itself looks like this. I have two oscillators, two swords, basically, and that's it. Really, really simple tech house bass sound design. Now, let me show you the top layer. So, basically, it's the same bass, but it sounds a bit different, and uh, the patch itself looks like this. And altogether, the bass line. So you can feel that the top bass, it adds some nice top and some extra harmonics. So the bass is more present in the mix and you can hear it better as if you wouldn't have the, the top layer of the bass. And finally, I have this Reese bass, which sounds like that. And the patch is also really, really simple. I have two oscillators, two saws, and I've slightly detuned the oscillators as you guys can see here. So unison, you can choose shimmer, it's a pretty good one. Voices in amount is about 50%. And I've added some overdrive to make it more clean, more crisp. And now with overdrive. And all together. So that's it with the low end. Now let's break down the melodic elements. So I have the main lead. So if you listen. And the main lead is really, really simple as well. So we are starting from the root note. We go one semitone up and uh, two semitones down. If you want to learn more about Tech House Music Theory, I'm going to link a video like here or here. So make sure to watch this one. You will learn how to make Tech House melodies, how to make melodies for bass, etc, etc. Really good video. And um, yeah, basically th that's it for, for the lead and the patch itself. Once again, guys, really, really simple. I'm utilizing the basic waveforms such as uh, sine, square, saw, triangle, and uh, yeah, basically uh, these are the, phone, the four main ones. And the the second one is a bit complex, like d distortion, FM kind of wave table, waveform. And yeah, it sounds like that. Yeah, it's, it's that simple. And... Uh, the main vibe, the like the, the main element of the track which creates that kind of vibe, kind of sound, are these two. And together with the bass line. It's not the same sound as the original track by Cream uh, called Rhodes VIP Mix, but the pattern is the same. You have, uh, so this one, the first hit lead kind of sound. So this one uh, hits together with the kick and this one is on offbeat and that creates a kind of sound, a kind of vibe in the original track. So, yeah, so you guys can hear, uh, I have a vocal, which sounds like that. I'm a mess, 
just the random vocal I found in my sample library just to you know spice it up a little make the track more interesting because without the the vocal I mean you can release tracks without vocal but I really really recommend releasing tracks with vocals because people tend to like these kind of tracks more and it's way more attractive when you have you know nice singing nice vocals maybe some you know talking and a kind of vocal it's it's really nice to have in your tracks and the last thing is this stab like a chord this one is really really simple as well basically just about the same thing uh two oscillators one saw one saw slash triangle and uh, some overdrive and the the chord itself looks like this so we have the root note which is the b and we have a fifth uh and that gives us a power chord so power chord is uh the root note and the fifth and it sounds really open really i would say powerful and uh in the mix listen carefully guys once again <laughs> So it adds some extra atmosphere to the track. And finally guys, now I'm going to teach you how to make tech house drums and how to layer tech house drums. So if you look at the claps, you can see I have five layers, which is a lot. And I have one special layer. It's this one like pre-shifted, pre-delayed clap. So let me go show you how the claps sound without that pre-shifted layer. It still sounds nice and crisp, but let me introduce this one. It gives that housey kind of vibe. So if you want to make your clap sound better, and if you want to learn how to layer claps, uh, consider using pre-shifted claps, maybe pre-shifted percussion. It will make your claps sound way more professional, way more interesting. And now guys, let me show you how to make hats for your house tracks. So uh, the main pattern sounds like that. So. As you guys can see, it's really, really simple. We have the, the main layer, the main hats, uh, five layers. We have this one, uh, like percussion kind of hat that gives that groove to, to the loop. So listen to this one. We have the snare. This hat and the snare, they're really, really short, really like, snappy. And this makes the drum loop sound so good, so punchy and nice. And basically, that's it. We, you can see, guys, that it's really simple. We just have the, the main hat, uh, one additional like groove hat, and one snare layer. You can also add some shakers if you'd like, but basically, this is everything you need for a good tech house track. Do you want to have a loyal fan base, play the shows you want and impact people's lives with your music, make them feel emotions, make them feel happy, but you feel like you are stuck, you can't get out of the loop and your tracks don't sound as good as your favorite artist tracks. If that is the case, just click the link down below and I'm going to help you to unlock your creative potential, bring your ideas from your head into the real world without overthinking the whole process and without spending years on education courses watching youtube videos so if you want to make it in the music industry and you can't wait you don't want to wait and you want the results as soon as possible just click the link down below book a time for a free strategy call and let's take your music to the next level so that was it for today guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you have learned something new please share your thoughts your feedback it will help me to improve my content and make the videos more interesting for you guys.